This video on flying arm bars is brought to you by NogiBJJGear.com. Use my code RAMSEY10 for a 10% discount on all purchases at NogiBJJGear.com. Hi, it's Ramsey Dewey at the UFL gym in Shanghai, China, and we're going to show you how to do a flying arm bar. The flying arm bar is a sacrifice throw, a sweep, and a submission all in one. Like many difficult to do moves, this technique is often dismissed as being too fancy to be practical. This is not true. Before attempting to learn the flying armbar, make sure your armbars from the guard with a collar tie and elbow control are on point. Once you've mastered that, then you can move on to the next step. It helps if you have a big person working with a smaller person to help the smaller person learn the move. We're gonna start with a collar tie. The first thing she's gonna do is kick under my armpit. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna help her out here. Okay, in a fight, I wouldn't do that, but to help her learn the move, I will. So she'll kick this up and she's gonna jump. Okay. If you're wondering what she did there, let's do that on the other side. She's gonna kick her first leg up, I'm gonna catch it. She's gonna throw this second leg up over my neck. Same position as, as if she were armbarring me from the guard. Now she's gonna sweep and then finish the armbar like any other armbar. Come on down into the closed guard. Right, grab the collar tie, same way as you would from the flying armbar, right? Grab the head, grab the arm, right? This comes up into my armpit, this comes over here, and you do that sweep. There we go. So it's essentially the same move. Here, get in my guard. So first, before you practice flying, you've got to practice on the ground. So grab right here in the crook of the elbow, right here, tight collar tie. Hold this tight. Right? Notice this leg goes under armpit. This one comes around the head. Now I sweep her and finish the arm. Right? Now we're going to do that with a jump. So again, we're going to help our partner stay very strong if you're the uh, supporting man, right? She's going to kick under the armpit, kick all around the head, and we're going to go down, right? And it's going to take a lot of repetitions, a lot of repetitions before your partner starts to feel comfortable doing this by herself. So kick up, over, down. Okay. Now a lot of people worry that the flying armbar is a dangerous move. And if you do it wrong, it definitely is. When you fall, make sure to roll. So we're rolling on the ground, right? Rolling into it. So essentially I'm going hip, round, back, round to the shoulder, as opposed to going head first onto the mat like that. You'll knock yourself out doing that. So make sure to practice your rolls, your break falls, your basic tumbling, all this basic important stuff. Okay, let's do that again. So kick, up, over, down, sweep. Okay, and let's do it again from the other side. Kick, over. There we go. Now. Here are some exercises that can help you develop more strength to do a flying arm bar more confidently by yourself, without help. So I've got a heavy bag. It's secured by a chain very tightly from here, and I've got this big heavy rope. Make sure you use something that isn't going to break. And make sure you have a tight enough grip to support your own body weight, as you will need to support your own body weight. We're just going to practice the same jump. So I'll do a little step, and I'll jump, and I'm holding myself up. I have a grip, I can jump a lot higher, a lot easier with a lot less energy. So I'm going to kick this up, here's my partner's imaginary arm, armpit, and there's their head. Okay? So jump, kick, and over, and then back down. I'll do this a bunch of times. Set, jump, up, over, right. again, set, kick, over, there in the head. And we'll do this a bunch of times, as many times as it takes to get comfortable with that grip and our upper body strength. Kenny, do you want to give that a try? Well, give me this. Yeah. 
Now, if you're not confident in your strength, again, get a friend to help spot you. So I'm going to hold around the waist a little bit. Right? So when she jumps, I'll give her a little bit of support just in case she starts to slip, okay? Until she gets strong enough to do this by herself. Up, and over, maybe one more time. And up, and over, good. All right. Now that being said, one of the most important exercises you can do to develop functional strength, not just for flying arm bars, but really all grappling, is the pull-up. So do lots of pull-ups, guys. They're good for you. Here we have a crash mat. So I'm gonna ask Kenny to use more of her own uh, strength and less of mine. So I'm gonna support her less. So if she free falls, she's gonna fall onto the mat safely again. Make sure to use a, uh, a nice, cushy crash mat if you have access to one. It'll save you a lot of bumps and bruises when you make mistakes, which you probably will. So, can you come on over here? So, just right next to the edge, okay? So she's gonna do the flying arm bar. Okay. So let's try that again. So you'll notice that time, there wasn't as much height because I wasn't pulling her as much. This time, try to jump higher than you've ever jumped. Okay, that was a little better. Yeah. Height is, is really important, so jump as high as you can. And with this grip, and this grip right here, so notice she's kind of karate chopping right here, holding on very tight to this arm. She's jumping very high, pulling on those arms, ready? And jump. Okay. How'd you feel about that, Kenny? Yeah, I think it's better. Okay, it's getting better, better every time. Yes. How many times have you um, practiced the flying armbar so far? Like six or eight times. Yeah. The first time it was Eddie, and it works, but it's not, it's not looks very pretty. Yeah. yeah, I think this is probably like the third time we practiced this together, maybe? Yeah, yes. So, yeah, the key is consistency. If you want to get good at a skill, practice, 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 but not all at once. Practice day after day, then sleep on it and think on it. Because improvement doesn't come from repetition to repetition. It comes from sleep to sleep. When Kitty sleeps tonight, she's gonna repair all these neural pathways in her brain and wake up smarter tomorrow, and then be like, aha, if I do it this way, it'll work better. And then tomorrow she'll be even better at flying arm bars. Wanna try one more time on that? Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. Once again, huge thanks to our sponsor, Nogi BJJ Gear.com. Go check them out. I was a huge fan of the brand before they sponsored the show, so go show them some love. And remember, use the code RAMSEY10 for a 10% discount off all purchases at nogibjjgear.com. Fantastic products, great rash guards, spats, shorts, and t-shirts. Go check them out.